Hello, today I'm gonna show you how to create a widget with dynamic icons based on tasker variables. Remember, I also use Zooper for this one. So if you have that, you can still follow everything. First of all, I'm gonna show you what we are creating today. So let's do it. Here I have one widget and one icon and also one text. What does it do? It will change when I change my Wi-Fi connection. So let's try it. You see at the top my Wi-Fi connection and let's set Wi-Fi off. Okay, let's go back and you will see you will see it will change uh, and it said not connected anymore. So that's what we are doing. You also see secure settings uh, get root access, so you need that also. So let's try that again. Wi-Fi on, go back, and it will do some tasks. And you see it's connected right now. It takes a little bit, but it will change after a second and it's blue and connected and secure settings pops up. So that's what we are doing. We can go a step further and when we click on that icon, it will do the same. So let's do that, but, but it needs some time because the task is not yet triggered. So when I click again, on the Wi-Fi icon, you will see also my Wi-Fi. My Wi-Fi connections is getting on, and then it should change uh, my icon as well, and also the text. So you heard something speaking on my phone. That's uh, another profile on my phone when Wi-Fi is connected. Are disconnected my phone will tell me that so that's completely different so how to make a widget with dynamic icons based on variables it's quite easy so let's open tasker you will see I have here Wi-Fi connected any Wi-Fi and I have super Wi-Fi on and super Wi-Fi off that's my uh, profile and my task will be I have three tasks one is Wi-Fi on one is Wi-Fi off and one is toggle Wi-Fi the first thing is you need to create some icons and also edit or make an XML file so I have here one on my uh, desktop I will show you first of all I'm gonna close this window and let's open my browser here. Here I have my browser and you see I have icons, uh, config.xml and I have also one zip file. The zip file contains the folder icons and the config.xml. So when I click that you see that config and icons. So I'm gonna close that. So the icons, I have two icons, Wi-Fi off and Wi-Fi on. When I go back, you will see my config and that's my config. So what does it do? I have a title, ZV state uh, icons and I give also a description icons based on the state of your phone. That's just for testing. And I have also a demo, uh, Wi-Fi is off, and then, um, and then my icons are icons. And then we have a default one. Default is the one if no condition is succeed. So then we have two conditions. So when T Wi-Fi is on, we use Wi-Fi on PNG. If T Wi-Fi is off, we use Wi-Fi of .png. Those are my conditions. So when you create one, 
you have to do the same. You can uh, use other variables as well. You can choose whatever you like. That's my config point XML. So then all you have to do is select those and you can add to archive and you use a zip file and you can ch uh, change your name and upload that in your folder. So when I go to my phone, you have to go to this is an, a Samsung Galaxy S2, so GTI 9 100 uh, internal. So you go to Super Widgets, double click that, and you will find some icon sets, and there you put your zip file. That's all you have to do. Be sure that your config point XML is good, and then you can bring that up inside your Zuper. So when I open Zuper, so let's go back to my phone. Here's my phone. And you will see, first of all, I'm gonna go back to my home screen. And when I create a new one, you will get something like that, but with nothing inside it. And let's open the layout. So when you open the first time your Zuper widget, uh, nothing is here. So you click on the plus button and then you choose um, bitmap icon collection. You click on that and let's go to icon set here, icon set, and then it will load the state icons. So that's what you need. Okay, when you click on that, you will see your icons as well. Okay, I'm gonna cancel that for now. And I'm gonna delete that as well. So I'm back in my original state. Then I have also put one text, also based on a variable. Wi-Fi can be on. or off. That's the two states inside Tasker. So when Wi-Fi is on, Tasker will do this one, Wi-Fi is on. So that's what Tasker does and when it's off, of course, that will change that to off. So you only have to remember this one on and off. Okay, I hope you understand that. So let's get back to Tasker. And the first thing I did was just put my Wi-Fi on and put my Wi-Fi off. Not with a toggle, but just with my notification bar. So I changed as well. So uh, that, uh, that's this one and that one. So when I open this one, you will see two actions. You will see T Wi-Fi is Wi-Fi and T Wi-Fi states is connected. Let's open that, the first one, edit that, and you will see Super widget variable is Wi-Fi and my uh, super widget text is Wi-Fi and also a person assigned uh, as variables. So the super variable Wi-Fi, T Wi-Fi would be on or off. That's that, on or off. Okay, let's go back. And the second one is T Wi-Fi state is connected. Edit. And the super widget variable should be Wi-Fi state, starting with an uppercase T. And your text will be connected. Let's go back. And let's open now the other one. 
the super Wi-Fi is off. That's the same as super Wi-Fi is on. And this is uh, Wi-Fi state is not connected. So why I'm using the same task inside the on and the off task? Because super has to know when a variable is changing inside tasker. It only will check when tasker executes a task like super widget pro variable. So then it will check, not constantly. So you have to put this action inside the on task and also the off task. So it will check always when you put it on or when you put it off. But it will be the same. And that is just for the off connection and you use connected to the on connection. I hope you understand that it's a little bit difficult to explain, but it will make any sense. So let's go back. Let's go back to our Zuper. Now we have to configure our Zuper and let's open it. So the bitmap icons collection would be automatically changed because our config point XML. So our T Wi-Fi is on. Let's open Tasker again and the on. So if T Wi-Fi is on, you saw here Wi-Fi is on or off, could be on or off. So if T Wi-Fi is the variable Wi-Fi from Tasker on or off, it will do something. When it's on, you will see this one, T Wi-Fi is on, it will use Wi-Fi on point PNG. So when it's off, you will see here, it will use the Wi-Fi off button. So that's very simple, that's the Super Icons collection. So you see also when the Wi-Fi is on, T Wi-Fi state is connected and um, T Wi-Fi state is also connected. So it pops up. The only thing you have to do is create a text element inside Super and call that T Wi-Fi state. So when we do uh, when we go back to our Zuber and open that and layout and text, you will see here in text um, T Wi-Fi states. That's what I'm using. But, uh, so it's depending on Tasker. So this is one part. The second part is a little bit more difficult, but I explained it that before in another tutorial. So how to create a toggable task inside Tasker. I did the same thing here. So let's open Tasker like that. And I'm opening toggle Wi-Fi. Yeah, and you see I use an if else statement and and with an and if. So if toggle Wi-Fi is on, I'm gonna set toggle Wi-Fi off and I set Wi-Fi off. So what uh, when it's on, I will put it off when I click on that. Otherwise, if it's off, I want to put it on by setting the variable to one and set the Wi-Fi is on and also an AND IF. That's all I have done for that. And then you can combine everything like the example. I hope you understand everything. If you have any questions, you know that you can ask me those questions on my Google page. Thank you.